I'm here with Dr. Dave Coriel, Global Director of Christian Endeavor, to talk a little bit about Prayer Week. Now, Dave, um, why are we doing Prayer Week? Well, you know, Prayer Week's been around a long time, Josh, but we want to return to our roots. And the reason why we want to do that in this situation is that in San Diego at the World Convention, when we had our council meeting, there was a young person that had the idea that the prayer week should be the most exciting and most engaging week for endeavors around the world, but we lost that. And so we want to get back to the roots of that, unleashing youth together today through something like, like this. So what is it? What is Prayer Week going to be about? You know, there, there's really three components of, of Prayer Week. And when I say components, what it really is about. And Prayer Week is, is number one, it's, it's about people's salvation. Mm -hmm. The people that God has placed around us, neighbors, coworkers, family members, and having the opportunity to, to call out to God for them and, and see them have an opportunity to embrace Christ. Uh, it's also an opportunity for us as endeavors to go deeper in, in our commitment to Christ. Living out those practices of Christian endeavor, pray, study, serve, share, worship, and just really doing that at a, at a higher level than what we've been doing before. And then, and then finally, it's, it's an opportunity for us to call out to God for His kingdom vision. So that Christian endeavor can be part of what God is doing on a much bigger scale. Wow, that is really neat. And it sounds like such a big focus. So. so so what are we going to be focusing on this year? What's our, our theme for this year? Yeah, our theme for this year, the, a few people 25 and under, they, they put their heads together and they came up with the theme, Awe and Wonder. And Awe and Wonder, if you turn in your scriptures to Acts chapter 2, you'll find a verse, uh, the section of scripture starts in, in 42, but in verse 43, we read in, uh, in this verse, everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods they gave to anyone as he had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. There was something about how the early church was connected, but they had awe as they thought about God. Our culture around the world, uh, when I say culture, I mean, there's so many cultures, right? But when I say culture, it's like how we are living has largely lost that awe. And so Prayer Week's calling us back to that. Awe and wonder, let's see the great things God's done. And then he continues to do. Wow, praise God. What, when did this whole idea of Prayer Week get started? Because this isn't the first year. We're, we're relaunching it this year, but where does this idea come from? Yeah, you know, Prayer Week, it, it predates Christian Endeavor. Wow. And since Christian Endeavor started in 1881, you know, coming up on our 138th birthday, this has been a long time. God actually used Prayer Week to help start Christian Endeavor. Wow. Back in January 1881, and I found this information in this old book, Worldwide Endeavor. <laughs> this thing's written in 1895. And I, I'm going through this book and I find this information that Francis Clark and his church was leading a prayer week. And in that prayer week, January 1881, Somewhere between 20 and 30 young people came to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. God used that to launch Christian Endeavor because Clark looked out at his church, he saw all these young people, and he realized they were doing nothing useful 
for God and his church, for Christ and the church. And they also weren't getting to know each other very well either. It broke his heart. And so God used that to start Christian Endeavor. Prayer Week has been part of Christian Endeavor ever since. We're relaunching that idea this year. And so what, what are some of your goals as we go into this relaunch? Yeah, you know, four goals that I'd like us to, to go after. And the first one is, would love to have on February 2nd, 2019, we would love to have at least 10 countries have some kind of celebration of worship led by young people, put together by young people and led by them, bringing their passion forward. And so that's goal number one. Second, that these events and the week to follow, that God would use this opportunity as a challenge for endeavors to go deeper in Christ wherever they are. Mm -hmm. So, you feel like your relationship with God is at, at this place, Let, let's take it deeper through that week, committing on a deeper level, pray, study, serve, share, worship. We're gonna provide some materials, uh, a devotional that people can, can have something each day that they can go through that'll be available in print form. We'll also be sending out something each day of prayer week so that people can, can get that daily email or that daily social media post. Now, it'll be in English, so individual countries may want to do this as well on their social media accounts or email accounts to have it in different languages. But we just want to do what we can to help people go deep. That takes me to the fourth goal, and that's we want to see God take this event and almost have it be like that memorial that was built when Joshua and the Israelites came across the Jordan. And they, they built these memorials with stones so that they could look back. Future generations could say, look what God did. Our hope is that this relaunch of Prayer Week could be something that people in the future will be able to look back mm -hmm. and say, wow, look at that movement of God that he used to take us deeper. So it's a lot for us to pray about, but it's a lot to be excited about as we come to the close of 2018 and we look to Prayer Week, February 2nd, 2019. Thanks so much for being part of this, and we're excited to see what God does.